back to the Crunch Concepts. My name is Nate Savage. You've got Mitch Bowers behind the camera here. Today we're going to demonstrate a little box jump, uh, talk about a few key points with that. So one of the main things is we've talked about the kettlebell swing a little bit in the past. We've got a really similar setup as in peak position and hip. So I want my heels under my hips, my toes are straight ahead, and I'm going to initially shove those hips back, okay? And then I'm going to bring them through just like I would with the swing, and that's when I'm going to launch myself into the box. One of the big points we want to make today is that landing. So when I land, I want to make sure I'm landing the same way, heels under the hips and those toes straight ahead, making sure we're protecting the knees. We see a lot of people uh, getting up and just you know, barely getting on and the knees crushing in front of the toes. So we want to make sure we're protecting people's knees. So let's make sure this week when we're doing our box jumps, we can land strong in that quarter squat and we're finishing the move out. If you catch yourself landing with your knees coming together or too tight, Grab a smaller box, try it out, see how it feels. Um, check us out at crunchmax.com for more tips. Thanks for watching.